Island boys to me are like meth heads. I've been around meth heads. Have you ever play wrestled with a meth head? No, but I saw a satellite yesterday. Wait, 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 wait. I swear to God. Wait, 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 wait. If you play wrestled with a meth head and they got an RNC on you, you really think they're playing with you or are they going to try and kill you? If they're on drugs. That's why I think the Island Boy stuff gets real fast. Explain the satellite I saw, dude. You saw blinking light. I saw a satellite. You saw blinking light. No, I saw a satellite <clears throat> crash. What? And I went up to it, yeah. You're such a bad liar. I was in, a a high, desert. I was in the high desert. Great eyebrows. Bro, I, you saw a satellite crash. I was in the high desert. You're a YouTuber who didn't film that. Uh, bro, I don't. He, my guys aren't always with me. Oh, you didn't have a phone? I don't pick up my I phone. I got his ass. Shit. Would you, how the fuck a satellite crashed? And it, did I'm it not make, saying I saw the crash. I'm saying I, it's, I saw it on the ground. Oh. NASA has 95% of Earth's helium. Because most satellites, it they put up with fake. a helium balloon. This sounds fake. Go to the man I'm interviewing tomorrow is the man who is going to be on Joe Rogan. His name's Eric Dubé. So he's the biggest flat earth channel that popped out in 2017. And then, you know, it got suppressed. I'm interviewing him three hours tomorrow. When you click on his website. What's his name? Eric Dubé. Eric Dubé. And he does all sorts of conspiracies. Like he'll debunk dinosaurs. So you'll never believe in dinosaurs after a 10 minute video. So you really believe dinosaurs are just not real. <clears throat> you don't believe them, Brad. I kind of do though. A little bit. So you believe mainstream media, Jurassic Park. Like <gasps> here's what I was trying to say last time. Dinosaurs before man, as in before the Bible. Aliens. God created the attack on the Bible. It's always... If it didn't attack the Bible, it wouldn't be so obvious. But also... Um, you don't those, think those things could coexist? Like, No. Why not? Because we're special. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we're not special. That they're there. That, that doesn't make us less special. That's like saying because there's giraffes that we're less special. Brett, I'm just going to do this to you, okay? Yeah, do it. Every I love when you do this. Sing, all right, I'm going to go. I'm gonna do it, do it, do it. Every single photo of space, Mars... Jupiter is fake computer generated. And last time you were here, you looked at your phone, you're like, maybe they're fake. Do you know no, what you're Googled, looking at? I know what you're the looking satellites. at. Every comment who DM'd me, they said, are you crazy? I got millions of comments saying, I've been scrolling for 30 minutes and they're all fake photos. Every satellite except one, the ISS, International Space Station on ericdubay.com there's a george bush senior documentary they're falling around he's like in a wheelchair the demon in the background of the nasa where they were you crop zoom and it's an astronaut you can see which astronaut it is and he has a gr blue screen chroma key it's like a green screen and he's playing with this this green ball so a blue screen but a green ball is right and i'll post on my twitter just so i don't look crazy and then we looked at his clothes, haircut, and what he was playing with. The next month, they released water congealing in zero gravity. You know how water you think congeals? They just created that shit. It's particle effects. And Hold on. have you seen how many astronauts have fallen when they're like floating in zero g? The funniest clip, Brad. Oh, an oh, astronaut is floating like this because they they use a parabolic plane. You guys know what that is, right? How do you explain this? What is this? It says, this is how Japan attacked Pearl Harbor according to Flat Earthers. Like it went all the way around. Yeah. Okay, let me show you. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. You're using a Mercator <laughs> map. I love This okay. is a Mercator. What is the map of Flat Earth? It's the United Nations flag. The Azimuthal Equidistant map. What? Just search up Azimuthal Equidistant <clears throat> map. This is the as a monthful. Yeah. So you know how there's billions of maps. How the fuck you spell that? Uh, yeah, it's right. It. <clears throat> this me guy just... really believes this shit, right? Yeah. Like a hundred percent. Right. I love. You're gonna, I love... you're gonna hate me right now. I don't care. I don't you're care. gonna hate me right now. Shut the. I have faith in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I, do, I know I Jesus is real. But look at this. I. Give me my I, fucking phone. I, oh, <laughs> I know Jesus is real, but. I am more certain of flat earth. I know that no, sounds like blasphemy. Shut the fuck That's up. Having faith means you struggle even 1%. Everyone struggles. No. Flat earth is undeniable because it's in the material world. It doesn't need faith. 
You can literally measure it. As a month old equidistant. It's the only map that's, look at, look at the top corner. It's, it says it's the only map of Earth that is scientifically as is. As in don't change it. And now look how scary this is. Brad, look at this map. It's the United Nations flag. Not just that. The Meteorological Association flag. Your space people. What else? The maritime that controls the waters. Because you're not allowed to go south. This is the Antarctica. Is that ice wall all around. So it's the globe, but stretched out. And North Pole's in the middle. Now there's gonna... But that's just the Earth like this. No, think of it... It's like if it was round and they just went like this. Yes! You're the... F you know, nobody understands that. Even high-level people. You get what it is, right? Yeah, I like, see it. Think of a... You're thinking of a balloon Earth. And then yeah. they... Pfft, yeah. Ripped it. Exactly. And we can never explain... The audience is so stupid. They'll never get what you just did. I've, I've debated physicists, doctors, engineers, and a NASA employee that I humiliated on Twitch. It was viral. But check it out. They all lost to me miserably. And it was hilarious. If you could explain what you said about how it opened. Yeah. If you could, I give you $1 million, your chatters might, no one watching this will under, will be able to understand what you said. Try and explain it. I see. I can explain try, that. No, no, I can explain, explain that it. extremely easily. It's so hard, bro. This no, it's is not. the only, but no, no, no. It's not for us, but the average Joe, that's not a famous millionaire like us. Okay. Well, no, Antarctica is at the, yes. Okay. Antar As a month equidistant, explain where Antarctica is. You're talking about the, the, the top or the bottom part? This around or here? Yeah, around. That okay. would be Antarctica, right? Okay, so Antarctica would then be the entire crust. Basically, like, imagine, like, the if the Earth was so a circle. So here's Antarctica, the landmass. Yeah. Which, and, if you want to shit your pants right now. And then it would be a circle, and we basically went like this to it. Yes! And now look at this. Give me that. Get ready. Where the f is the South Pole on a compass? Yo, on the yeah. Well, it's there, not. There is no yeah. South Pole. Well, the center, but the center that would be. There is no South Pole because. Well, let me see. The compass is a flat Earth instrument. Look at this. North, right in the middle, magnetic north, right? That it only points north, not south. Well, the South Pole that I know is in the center on the bottom. But look at this. Look. Just you're, to be clear, you mother. No, no. Look at this. Look at this. You're looking at a compass, Brad. Look at this. North. How do you circumnavigate just like airplanes, the sun, east to west this way? And which way would be south? 180 degrees away from north, meaning south is this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Always the point out, right? So if you're going to the, it's not a nice wall, it's the highest shoreline on earth. Go on Wikipedia, that's Antarctica. And look at this. So if north is here, south would be down that way, that way, that way, that all every so, okay. direction. So as I, long as you're question. flying out, you really southward. Believe, okay, but you really believe this, right? So if someone got in a plane and just drove, flew straight this way, they're eventually going to fall off the map. What do you mean straight this way? What like if I got on a plane, right, and I flew directly this way, yeah, and eventually I just go off the fucking you're map. Not allowed military waters and uh, military zones, uh, military skies. Antarctica, illegal to explore. You can't fly over it, not because it's so cold. That's not the reason. The only person who flew over the North Pole was the Queen's brother. Like as a whatever, the North Pole is locked. Justin Trudeau, who okay. is who is Justin Trudeau? Justin Trudeau, there's a clip in my documentary coming out, but you can find it on YouTube, where he talks about a secret military base. You're not allowed to go to North and South Poles. And here's where I win. Ready for Exodia? Brad, I dare you to Google Antarctica from space right now. And don't, <laughs> don't answer. Don't say yeah. anything. You Google it. You Google it on your phones. Antarctica from space. I want the room quiet. I want to fill with shame. Like an like image? Yeah, yeah. I want nobody talk. Just stare at your phones. I want to look at your eyes. Antarctica from space. Yeah, and show me. You're talking about like this? <laughs> You're hilarious. Scroll, scroll. Look at all of them. Look at them. Can you see? What the f are you looking at, Brad? You know what you're looking at. I'm crazy. Oh, G7, slap a child, bro. Brad, you know why you're smiling, dude. Uh, you're, you're being tortured right now. You feel duped. Because Someone all, talk. Because they're all fake.
they're all and they're not and they're not even the good fakes he, look he's looking and he can't he's find one too. real one you guys are adults paying a hundred million dollars a day to 25 nazis started operation paperclip started nasa which needs to deceive in a certain oh, language dude. dude wait 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 this one looks pretty good let's see this one looks really good bro look at this that looks good what is that i yeah, know this looks really good it, it looks good because they they took this is like 10 percent of it i want the whole thing okay from well, space like from your satellite i mean it looks okay by the way they say it's a hundred million dollars for tax the hundred million dollars of tax revenue for one who says cgi that? satellite one satellite costs that much bro if there's that you many, think it's money you think you think part of this is money laundering or what <laughs> God damn it. It's a military wing. NASA's literally a military wing. They Why would you collect money? But what did the military do with Halliburton when they went into the Middle East? Right? Remember when they said one million Iraqis died and they said, Bro, oops, my bad? You know what I should have done? What did Bush this? say? He said, my bad. We didn't mean to go into Iraq. Bro, they lie all the time. I they steal I, money. I believe that. I believe that. I wish I wish that I spent a lot more time looking into this before you came back on because this would have been a lot more fun. I apologize. No, 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 right no, now. no. You, first of all, Brad, this is wow. Brad, Brad, want to see something crazy? It is all I will fucking fake. I will send you a clip of the NASA employee I debated. And all I said in the opener was, find me a picture of Antarctica from space. And she's doing this, yo. She's scrolling. And she started like shaking and the whole chat's calling her a fucking stupid <laughs> everyone I, you know who the the only person in the room that didn't call her a stupid was me because i knew i was winning i didn't want to taint my victory nasa employee humiliated herself in front of two thousand viewers years ago did you try did you try to find some too jacob and and it goes further this one's pretty good <laughs> check this check this give me that give it's me that. not good at check all this if this is the worst one. Yeah. When you go to YouTube, Red Bull Jump. This is definite proof that everyone watching is an idiot. <laughs> yeah. This is just so funny to me, dude. Because I really like... Brad, this is your Red Bull Jump, right? What is wrong with what you're looking at? Oh, I remember watching this. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with what you're looking? What are you looking at, Brad? What's wrong with the Earth? Isn't the Earth supposed to be 80% water? Look, look, look. I'm going to pause it. Look. Go to Red Bull Let Jump. Me Let me see it. Go to Red Bull Jump. You're telling me all of Earth is New Mexico? The Earth is 100% landmass. There's no oceans. Why the is curve the is on the wrong way. Why is that the wrong way? What it's you... concave. Because look, it's going to distort into level, which it, Earth's flat. But look at this. It's going to correct the lens. It's a fisheye lens. Look, look, look. Look. Now the Earth is round. Because it's a fisheye. No, nope. millions crazy. of people didn't see this. Do you get what I'm saying? No, but what about this part? But, Brad, go, go no, to the no. beginning of the video. I don't get it. I don't get what Do you're you saying. Do you get what I'm saying? This is what I mean. The most simple thing I'm showing and no one can see it. It's terrifying. I'm like... But you're talking like, about... What, it's what, like Twilight Zone. But what angle is it filmed from, though? Dude, the curve of the Earth goes from concave to, to linear to convex. Because it's a fisheye. You know a fisheye can distort? Right. Right? So look. Look. This, the, here's the curve. It's supposed to be like this, right? Yes. Right? Just like McDonald's, right? Yeah, but you're looking at the thing from the, uh, the direction no, on no, this No, no. Look, look, look. It's a fisheye. They always use fisheyes. They always distort the earth. Look. It's a fisheye. Look, it's a fisheye lens. Look at the horizon. Hor hor it's a horizontal horizon. Look, look, look. It corrects the lens. And it's back to earth normal. You see it? Yeah, but uh, listen. I, it's tell me it's not a fisheye. And number two, why the fuck is all of Earth New Mexico? There's not even a fucking pond. There's supposed to be oceans, bro. It's all landmass. Like go to the beginning of the video. People fell for the Red Bull jump. Wow. Well, and they've never once. And you know what? They've never once used when they go out there in low Earth orbit, like they say. They've never used a non-fisheye, but guess who did? Random flat earthers. So there's thousands of random dudes who put a weather balloon that could go that, that high up. They say that's 100,000 feet in altitude. We could go up to 120,000 if you and I, $800 weather balloon with a camera, all that. Many of people have done independent experiments. Now look at this. This is the scariest thing, Brad. 
when you go to nasa.gov right the military wing go to nasa.gov at 60,000 feet the curve looks like this like it looks like earth then go look at independent study photos thousands of people who make no money poor random people or, or just some you know maybe they're middle class thousands of photos of thousands of different weather balloons from australia canada all any part of the earth at 120,000 feet in altitude the horizontal horizon is a motionless plane but nasa says way below so nasa photos look like this and us random guys who go much higher look like that like picard said with an upturned edge meaning so antarctica what, what do you think what do you think elon musk is on then give me that phone i'm destroy your life no in 10 seconds last video you said elon musk first what, of all yeah, that's like, government subcontracted spacex i am about to actually destroy your world so they never go to mars is that a real give thing? me the phone okay. everyone search up this is so SpaceX. funny spacex 11 million people got duped by this bro I can't wait to see your reaction. Go to SpaceX SN10. <laughs> That's the rocket's name, SN10. Get ready for trauma. <laughs> okay, you're gonna be just like that Jack kid right now. I'm gonna slap you're you. You're gonna slap truth. me? Yeah. Give me this shit. This Hold is on. funny, man. Let's go to the I mean, timestamp. Starship SN10 high altitude flight recap. Go to one uh, for SpaceX. Uh, SpaceX, this video got 2.9 million views two years ago so go to that go to the timestamp one minute and 10 seconds you are about to see cgi transition and lens flare so they'll shoot rockets and they all the trajectory always arcs it never goes straight up which is hilarious because they shoot from florida into the bermuda triangle always and oh you can't go there right but but they say this rocket can land and you know spacex look at this i sound crazy you do it's funny though. Get ready. I'm curious. I'm like, gonna up your brightness because you, you're trying to like you're trying to dim the truth. Look at this. <laughs> you're dumb. Look. Look at the transition. Look when it transitions. Lens flare. Video game. Okay, that that was. That is the fakest yeah, shit. Yeah, that ever was seen. fake. No, give it to me. Wait, give wait, it to wait. me. Hold on. Wait, wait, look at look, look 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 so you guys are on the same page. Look 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 when it transitions. So, Jacob will know. Look at look at the lens flare. Look. Come on, two point. Nah. Right. That looks like a fake lens flare. I'm two, not gonna lie. And they always do these transitions. Okay, but okay. What do you think the point of the this whole fucking shit is? What's the point of it? Why why be like it's flat? Or why be like it's round? Like what's the point? What's the point of? <laughs> You're the rudest person. He's like <laughs> shooting a rocket while I'm talking. Why are you hold doing on, that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to watch it one more time. YouTubers are rude, bro. He's like, what's the point? I'm playing this. Yeah, I mean, that was bullshit. And, and, and Brad, Brad, this is the argument I want to make. Just I don't want to forget this. Yeah. I, I think we should send in a rocket Fousey and Jack up there. See Dude. how long Fousey and Jack can last if they're floating together. We should have them report back and tell us if it's flat or can, not. If we put them in a space station to get along well, and we gonna, send Fousey pictures of Jack's cars. Aren't they already sending like billionaires and shit? Like Virgin is like doing this shit. Like, billionaire you're going to trust. Look at this, Brad. Thousands of people did 120,000 feet in altitude pictures. They made no money. You're not going to trust those thousands of independent scientific no, no, studies. I, I got to look at that. I've never looked oh, at any of that. The only difference from NASA and flat earthers is NASA's taking a hundred million dollars a day. And flat earthers are just saying you're being scammed. We're not winning. Do I make but money? What's the point? What's the point? I lose money. I people, a lot of people, they, Thank you for buying my dating course, but I could I could do even better if I wasn't a flat earther, but the truth is important. I don't mind losing credibility. The point for flat earth is the same point for evolution and dinosaurs and aliens. They all attack the creation story of Genesis. Hey, you're not special, there's aliens. You're not special, there's things before that that debunk your book. You're not, uh, you can go up there to the heavens and blah, blah, blah. But when you look at this, it's like, it's so obvious. Mainstream media, Jurassic Park, they pump out dinosaurs, ancient aliens. If there's a real conspiracy, it's not being pumped out in Discovery Channel. If it's a real conspiracy, it's not on TV. Like if it's like something they want to hide. If they're pumping aliens, aliens every day on Fox News, when we saw another thing, they're coming, they're coming. And people are just bored. They're like, oh God, not this shit. 
By the way, they haven't even gone back to the moon since like the fucking 70s. And you know why they say they haven't gone back to the moon? An astronaut, Don Petit, his name is, there's a clip of him, went viral. He said, we haven't gone to the moon because we lost that technology and it's a painful process to build it back up. And I'm like, why Mars? Why are you trying to go to Mars then? What the fuck? And when you look at Mars, all CGI. But the thing that scares me the most is, f forget Flat Earth and all this, you went, you're 30 years old, you went 30 years of your life not noticing it's CGI. You can, so I if really I brought look, you, I really if I shit. brought him a CGI girl, he wouldn't know if it's real. I never looked If I at sent you nudes, no, no, but billions of people on earth can, you know why I can easily see it? I'm an artist. I was, it, I was failing my class in high school, but they enrolled me in a genius program just for art. And I smoked the genius kids, the rich kids. But be, because I'm an artist, it's so easy for me to see. It's so fun. What kind of art do you make? I, I, I sketched all my life. Just sketch. Right? Actually. Yeah. Or if I shoot a bitch's face, you know how far I can wow. shoot? You know how far? That's amazing. Can you? I mean, okay, apparently yeah. it's an amazing thing. Can, can I shoot it? Like a, a lot of guys told me they can't. Like who far. Were you talking to guys about this shit? The earth is flat, Brad. Okay. Yeah, that was. Okay. I don't know but where you're going with that.